following in line, Guru, the Shishya, then we take this phrase, Jagokala Manoharam, we find Manoharam, cause Jagokala. The cause is Krishna plays his flute. And what's the effect? The Vamadrisham Manoharam. The gopis, their minds become attracted, their hearts become enchanted, their hearts become stirred and filled with romantic, amorous desires to please, dance, serve, embrace, kiss Krishna in the Ras Lila. So this is Manoharam. So Krishna's flute is a Manoharam Murali, Manoharam Jagokalo. The Jagokalo, the lakshana, or the characteristic of Krishna's flute is its mind stealing. Krishna's flute is mind stealing. Manohar means mind stealing flute. And man means mind or chit or heart. Sometimes in Sanskrit, Krishna's flute sound, like Kamabij, transcendental Kamabij, stole their mind, stole their hearts, stole their lives, stole their hands away from their domestic duties, taking care of their husbands, cooking, serving, dressing. Their hands pulled away from all those activities. Their eyes withdrew from looking at their own bodies. They're dressing, brushing their own hair and decorating their own eyes. Their hands and vision and attention withdrew from even their own bodies and their own body decoration. What to speak of their vision and hands withdrawing from their service to their children and their relatives and in-laws. And everything was focused on Krishna. Their five, their panch karmindriya, their panch uh, gyanindriya. All their senses and mind became manoharam. All the senses merged in the mind, man, and the whole thing was stolen. Their senses, their body, their mind, chagokalam, manoharam. He stole everything. Therefore, Krishna has the power of Manoharam, and Krishna's flute has the power of Manoharam. Krishna is a thief. He's glorified throughout the Vedas. When he was a young baby, he was a thief. He stole butter, and he was glorified as Makancho. Then he grew up a little bit, and he grew up a little bit. He went to the riverbank, and he stole the saris of six year old girls in a very playful, prankish, funny way. He laughed and giggled, and they laughed and giggled. It was all child's play. They were six-year-old girls bathing the Yamuna, as was the standard for ladies to bathe naked in a secluded place, the mothers and the daughters. And the daughters were there doing Katyani Brat. So Krishna came with his coward friends. He had a few toddlers with him in the tree. Some young boys were with him. And it was all good-natured fun, as children often do. Boys and girls play together, and there's no impropriety. No one raises eyebrows. No one makes any criticism. If a three-year-old boy or a five-year-old boy, three-year-old, five-year-old boy plays with a five-year-old girl, right? So the girls are six years old, and Krishna says, hee, 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 hey, come on, boys. Let's take their sari. <laughs> this will be fun. Oh, Krishna, we can't do that. If they come out of the jamuna, they'll be shivering, and they'll be cold. It's winter time. And they have no clothes. Oh, it's, it's fun. It's a game. Let's go. Okay, let's go. The boys get together. They take the girls' saris. They run up at the tree. And the gopis go, oh, where's our saris? And that's called gopi vastraharna. Again, Krishna is stealing. Gopi vastrachur. Then Krishna grows up. He becomes a young, dashing, darling youth. Kaishor, Rupa. Kishor Krishna. Navayomanam. And then he starts stealing the hearts of the beautiful go-eyed gopis. The Vamadri Shammanoharam. He starts stealing your hearts with his fun and play, with his looks, with his glances, with his flute, with his sporting, with just his general presence in Vrindavan. He stole their hearts. So this is showing the power of this Manoharam. But now Krishna's flute has the power to steal. Krishna's leelas have the power to steal. How many people in India and how many people around the world have had their minds stolen by Gopal's Makanchor Leelas?